نوروز سعید آمد نوروز سعید آمد یا رب که مبارک باد یا رب که مبارک باد نزهت به مزید آمد یا رب که مبارک باد یا رب که مبارک باد شد شدت دی کوته شد شدت دی کوته دل شد زربی آگه هر لحظه بگو صدره یا رب که مبارک باد یا رب که مبارک باد چون مجده اید آمد چون مجده اید آمد مبدع به مید آمد نوروز سید آمد یا رب که مبارک باد یا رب که مبارک باد Spring is here and what a privilege it is to share this occasion with all of you Navroz, also pronounced Nauruz, means New Day in Persian. It is an ancient, centuries-old Persian festival that takes place on the vernal equinox each year, as winter gives way to spring in the Northern Hemisphere. It is celebrated on the first day of the month of Farvardin, of the Iranian solar Hijri calendar which is about the 21st of March on the Gregorian calendar. Navroz, like New Year's traditions from other cultures, is usually a time when families and communities come together. It is a reminder of renewal and a fresh start. It is a chance to reflect on our personal lives and to think about our achievements and failures during the previous year and to make resolutions for the new year. Navroz is also a time of spiritual revitalization, of giving thanks for divine blessings and for looking ahead to the future with optimism and hope. It is an opportunity to reaffirm the ethical message of Islam. It is a time of forgiveness and new beginnings and extending goodwill, help and support towards those in need. Prayers are offered for peace, prosperity, sustenance and faith. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون لي 
يأكل من ثمره وما عملت وأيديهم أفلا Water, food, growth, beauty, warmth. These are signs of spring. These are signs of divine majesty and mercy. In the Quran is Sharif, Allah describes His power to bring the earth back to life every year in spring through the blessings of rain which allows grass, trees, grains, fruits and vegetables to grow. The beauty and bounty of nature shows us Allah's power, grace and mercy to humanity, for which we should be eternally grateful. In his first visit to Tajikistan in 1995, our beloved 49th Imam, Maulana Shah Karim Al Husseini, spoke about the beauty of the natural environment in Badakhshan. The Quran refers very often to nature as a reflection of Allah's power of creation. And it says, look at the mountains, Look at the rivers, look at the trees, look at the flowers as evidence of Allah's love for the people whom He has created. Today, I look at this environment and I say today, I believe Allah is smiling upon you. May His smile always be upon you. Allah's blessings are often described in the Holy Qur'an through the symbolism of the garden, both on earth and in the hereafter, contrasted against the barren and scorching heat of the desert. The garden is a symbol of the mercifulness of the divine and of life, sustenance, beauty and comfort. After Navroz, gardens begin to bloom in the spring. Over many years, the Imamate has built or restored public parks and gardens around the world. These gardens are places in which we can engage in contemplation to seek intellectual and spiritual insights. They also relate to our ethical responsibilities as Muslims, for we are trustees of Allah's creation. We are charged with a sacred duty to protect and enhance the environment He has given us and to improving the quality of life of those among whom we live. Gardens are a place where the ephemeral meets the eternal, and where the eternal meets the hand of man. The tradition of Islamic gardens places an emphasis on human stewardship, our responsibility to nature and to protect the natural world. And of course, the garden of ancient tradition, like the garden here today, is a place where Whatever difficult moments may come our way, we can always find in the flow of refreshing water a reminder of divine blessing. The origins of the Navroz festival are traced to ancient Persia, being the first day of the Persian solar year. 
It has been commemorated by people of various faiths and cultures in the Persian-speaking world. After the coming of Islam to Persia, the festival of Navroz continued to be celebrated. In Fatimid Egypt, under the rule of the Ismaili Imams, Navroz was also celebrated with great festivities. The Fatimid state observed the annual flooding of the Nile River as a New Year's celebration, which marked the beginning of the agricultural season. In addition, the Coptic Christian festival of Navroz, held in September, was widely celebrated in Egyptian society by people of all faiths. Amir Tamim al-Fatimi was the eldest son of Imam al-Mu'ez alayhi salam and dedicated himself to literary and cultural pursuits. The prince composed a poem titled On the Festival of Navroz in praise of his father, the Imam of the time. أراني إذا هذبت فيك قصيدة من المدح وتاني الكلام المهذب فيمنا كغيث في البرية ساكب The celebration of Navroz has extended through various parts of the Muslim world and beyond over the centuries. This painting depicts Shah Abbas II, the ruler of the Safavid Empire, celebrating Navroz in Isfahan in the 17th century. In the Ottoman Empire, it was observed as a public holiday. It was also celebrated by various Muslim dynasties on the Indian subcontinent. It was spread by Indian traders to East Africa's Swahili coast, where it is known as Neruzi. Today, Navroz is celebrated by some 300 million people in Iran, Tajikistan, Pakistan, India, and many other countries. In each of these different regions of the world, Navroz is observed in diverse ways. The commemorations blend together local cultures and customs with the religious beliefs and interpretations found in different regions of the world. In Iran, Navroz is a national holiday for two weeks. It starts with a spring cleaning of the house. The exact moment that the sun crosses the celestial equator is calculated to the exact minute and second. At this moment, called Sale Tavil, literally meaning turning point of the year, families gather together around the haft scene table to wish one another Navroz Mubarak, exchange gifts and offer prayers.
The half seen table contains seven items, starting with the letter seen in the Persian language. The items on the half seen table in Iran include sirke or vinegar, which represents age and patience, believed to ward off bitterness in life. Seke or coin, symbolizing wealth and prosperity. Seer or garlic, which is seen as a medicine that aids recovery from harm. Sieb or apple, representing health, natural beauty and fragrance. Sabze or wheat, symbolizing purity, opulence and good fortune. Samanu, a sweet wheat germ pudding, symbolizing sweetness in life. And sanbol or hyacinth, representing fragrance and life. Other items that may be included on the table are painted eggs, a mirror, a candle, and the Holy Qur'an. The half-seen table is found in most households in Iran for 13 days. Among the Ismailis in Iran, members of the Jamaat normally gather for the sal e tavil in Jamaat Khana buildings, where a half-seen table is displayed. They celebrate by reciting certain qasidas accompanied with musical instruments. In other regions where the Jamaat lives, such as Tajikistan and Northern Pakistan, Navroz is a public holiday. Families undertake spring cleaning, egg painting, and various dishes are prepared. Typically, people visit family and friends to offer greetings, to share sweets and drinks, and to sing and dance in celebration and joy. In agricultural regions, it is also a time of planting crops. In Syria, Navroz is celebrated mainly by Kurds and Ismailis, although 21st March is also a statutory holiday for Mother's Day. Ismailis across the globe typically gather to celebrate Navroz in Jamath Khanas for special prayers and to celebrate together. Dried fruits, nuts and grains, called rosy in some parts of the world, are distributed among Jamaati members, symbolizing blessings of abundance and sustenance. Devotional poetry is recited in the form of qasidas, manqabas, nasheeds and ginans. <laughs>
In 2021, the Imam of the time sent a Talika Mubarak in which he said, quote, On the occasion of Navroz, the 21st of March 2021, I send my most affectionate, paternal, maternal, loving blessings to all my beloved spiritual children of my worldwide Jamaat. My family joins me in wishing you all Navroz Mubarak. Unquote. At this special time of renewal, let us resolve to be regular in the practice of the faith, to engage in personal search, to lead a balanced life, and to live ethically, showing kindness, generosity, and care for all those around us. Let us also offer prayers for good health, happiness, unity, and barakah.